everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Raul Art and I will show you in this tutorial how to draw a realistic lace dress and I will show you how we can put the shadows between the highlights and also how to build this beautiful dress step by step stay with me and follow the tutorial to drawing this dress I selected a few of my suppliers so today we, for, we will use a mechanical pencil mine is Faber Castell 0.5 lead with 4B we will use blending stump, dry brush and just in case if we need to smoothing we are using cotton buds I selected also 8B grade from Faber Castell 9000 and we are using also two types of eraser and I will show you when and how we are working with Tombow Mono no, zero eraser and also perfection from Faber Castell. I uh, will uh, use this big brush for cleaning my paper and don't forget about kneaded eraser. Very good eraser to work everywhere. So let's get started to see how we can draw realistic. We draw in the outline first. Always when we start to draw something we draw the outline to know the way and as you can see I'm drawing soft with mechanical pencil. As I told you in previous tutorials guys, we need to find the shadows and after we find the shadows, we're coming with small details, necessary details and for this I'm using mechanical pencil. Just follow my steps guys. And also today I will show you how to put the shadows from the dress who's coming on her skin. This tutorial will be about how to draw realistic lace dress, black lace dress. And you will see we will need to work with a lot of details to make our portrait realistic. Also if we outlining we prepare the dress for the work so we know where to go and how dark we can do here. And also we will have to draw a lot of flowers on this lace dress. So where is dark we just draw dark and where is light we using soft drawing. And don't forget guys before to start cover your work as I did with the blank paper to keep your work clean till the end if you remember in previous tutorials. It's not necessary to go with mechanical pencil I will draw with 8B great and slowly slowly by small circles lines together we draw the dark area just follow my steps to see how i'm using pencil for this type of shading as you can see we're going slowly step by step and you will see guys today blending stone it will do a great job because we will using blending stone a lot of times today to blend and soft the paper also we will need to draw her skin into the dress and also we using shadows. So stay with me to see how to draw realistic lace dress. Always guys follow the reference photo. You need to know what you're drawing and the reference photo always show us what we need to draw. In the second layer I'm going small circles to cover the paper. Actually we're trying to imitate the dress. How is it? And if it's dark, as you can see, I'm using 8B gray. What's happen if you use HB gray, for example? You never get this dark tone on the dress. And as I told you guys, it will be dark black background till the end. Now we can use blending stone to see and blend what we draw. So we can go further. But as you can see, very soft and I'm choosing number two. And in the same time, we shade and blend also the skin under the dress very soft because we need to make this realistic as we can it will be transparency but dark one and for this side of the shading we are using dry brush and i'm using this and we will cover the paper and we will smooth in the same time now we come back for mechanical pencil because we draw the outline and as i told you we're going step by step slowly everything we need to draw just follow my steps. Now we have to draw leaf and flowers to make the dress realistic. When you draw realistic guys, improve yourself and upgrade your skill. Always when you draw a portrait. You will see if you are following reference photo, you will know where to go and how to draw if you are working step by step. And as I told you, use mechanical pencil for details, as I do. Now we come back for blending stone and we blend very soft always when we blend the details we blend very soft and we using small number of blending stone as I do like number two and now because the skin is under the dress I can blend inside of the flowers and of course when I need darker I'm coming with 8B gray and I shade soft for darker tone as you can see it's not really hard to draw lace materials if you draw step by step you can do this 
this without problems. But don't forget to follow the reference photo guys. We try to go in close as we can. And of course respect the shadows as I do. Coming with dry brush now, helping the shadow to become darker. And I can continue now with the flowers on the dress. Very interesting piece, interesting dress, lace dress. And we will try to draw as it is. We're going first layer with mechanical pencil when we draw details. Because can be erased easily than a B grade. If something go wrong or it's not really good from the beginning, don't worry, we have eraser to erase if we need. As you can see, I'm always following the reference photo, so I can go closer, even for low visible details. Now, as you can see, I can come in one more time, and this time I will be using a big grade because everything is okay. I can go darker. This is only the beginning. We will have a lot of flowers and leaves to draw in this tutorial. And if you want to learn how to do this, stay with me till the end to see how you can draw. I'm using again blending stone for blending. And we can go further. Build now the shadow of the skin using blending stump and as you can see I'm going small circles and if I need shadow more I bring with mechanical pencil just a little bit so I can darker the tone of the skin only where I need and now guys as I told you we will use cotton buds I can do with cotton buds or I can stay on blending stump depend what you like to use I'm using mechanical pencil to draw some lines soft lines to create the design of the dress and now cross over as you can see now I can bring a B grade just a few of them we draw harder for realistic looking and with blending stool we blend the lines and now you can use kneaded eraser or eraser pencil and with dotting inside I put some highlights on the skin like a reflection and as I told you all background will be dark now we can continue with the flowers and the design of the dress using mechanical pencil to draw the rest of the flowers I'm using mechanical pencil so I can erase if I don't like how I draw. So if you're a beginner, start with mechanical pencil so you can erase easily. Be careful when you draw details. Always follow the reference photo and very soft with shading inside. And we're blending with blending stone. We're using blending stone to smooth in the paper and making the dress realistic. Second layer with small circles to imitate the lace material. Again with blending stone. We bring some shadows now inside of the petal and we blend again. And we're going with dark shadow. Following the reference photo. This is a part of the sleeve. So we're drawing very dark. And as you can see guys, we're going step by step each side till we are happy with the dress. Also we need to respect the highlights and the shadow parts. Now following the reference photo we can draw everything step by step. Follow my steps. guys hard to see but I respected a lot of parts from the dress and I will show you I draw this part from the beginning so I have a big flower on a shoulder big petals 
and also as you can see small highlighting through the petals so now we're moving further to make the right part of the dress as you can see we're working with a lot of details but if you follow the reference photo and you're working step by step you can make a realistic drawing using reference photo is and as you can see for darker tone i'm using 8b grade and also for shadows and when i'm working with details i'm using mechanical pencil as you can see if you work with shadow and respecting the highlights our portrait become realistic and we're blending to build soft skin using blending stool because we need to work on a skin who is under the dress but very soft because is most of the skin is covered by the dress and now again we make the design using mechanical pencil of course following the reference photo because i like to go in close as reference photo is and now we cross over because our design of the dress is very sophisticated because today we're working on realistic fabric lace dress so we're making all possible details as you can see guys i'm lighting the skin only where i need to shadow in and i will show you how to put the shadows as well but before this i need to lighting with eraser as well if you remember i use for pores so this helping me to make lighter skin so i can bring more shadows i'm using this eraser always for pores as you seen in previous tutorial and i will show you now how i'm adding shadows very easy i'm using blending stool and as you can see i have a lot of graphite here and what is that i just move blending stool into the dark to take some graphite on my blending stool as you can see i have blending stool full of graphite and now very soft following the reference photo i'm lining and also make the design of the shadow who's coming from the dress to build realistic shadow so as i told you guys in all my tutorials don't forget to work with shadow highlights everything necessary you need to put in the portrait as you can see i have now shadowing the skin and you will see when i draw the dress it will be amazing effect on our paper if you need to make darker the shadow you can come in with hb gray but very soft but i don't need because this is enough made by blending stool so remember when you put the shadows just move blending stool into the graphite pencil and fill the blending stool with the graphite and now easily we can draw lines and even dots for everything is necessary to make the shadow and we can come back now with eraser pencil to put the highlights into the shadow if it's necessary more i can bring more highlights to make the skin back realistic clean your paper with a big brush and continue your work also we need to respect the pores on the shoulder we have the shoulder bone here so we're going with eraser soft and respecting this we're making realistic skin as you learned in previous tutorial how to draw realistic skin if you didn't see the tutorial try to find the previous tutorial and you will see how to build realistic skin and when I draw the lines, I just shadowing with blending stone. Be careful, don't use pencil here because the shadow is made by blending stone only. And as you can see, we have shadowing the body. Now I'm going further with the rest of the flowers. Using mechanical pencil, I'm back on my work. You see guys with blending stool we're coloring slowly and soft the pattern of the rose to make natural the dress and as i told you guys this dress is quite hard to draw because it's low visible in a few parts of the dress so i need to improve myself to find how can be making the dress looking more interesting and realistic now i'm coming with my mechanical pencil because i would like to put more darker to the outline of the rose and i try to find the gradient through the petals if you really like to draw start now and learn the basics start now and upgrade your skill following my videos on youtube if you're not on my channel subscribe and don't forget about the bell also for notification I'm admin on Graphite Pencil by Raul Art and I'll invite you to enjoy in my group Raul underscore UK08 on Instagram and also if you want to try to draw in everything I draw you find me on Pinterest as Raul Art and now I will bring some extra shadows and as you know know how to do because I showed you before just take some graphite from the dark and line very soft to build a soft shadow on the skin 
And as I told you guys, if you need dark or shadow, bring graphite pencil using mechanical pencil because it's good for details. And now we can blend soft, making the shadow on the skin more interesting. As you can see, with each detail I put on the dress, it's looking more interesting and realistic. You can see our portrait is more interesting with shadows, with details, and we keep going drawing till the end. Now I'm coloring with blending stone the petal of the rose to soften the paper for realistic texture. As you can see the petals become softer. And as you can see I have a small flower here, I will color in with blending stone also. And we're going step by step. Stay with me and follow my video till the end. See guys, we already done the left hand, so step by step, as I told you, following the reference photo, we're nearly finished with the left hand, and as you can see, I'm using 8B grade, it's 8B grade, but it's used, so I use an extension, so I can use all pencil, and as I told you, for the dark flowers and dark sides, I'm using 8B grade, and when I have to draw flowers and petals like this, I'm using faber Castell and I'm working in layers. As you seen here, I did a few layers to gain this beautiful petal with the reflection. And now slowly, slowly, we build again some flowers and also leaf. But as you can see, I'm drawing slowly, slowly, and step by step everything, following the reference photo. Oh. 
start to draw guys, I'm always starting with outlines and I'm drawing with mechanical pencil, very soft. Let's have a closer look for how I'm drawing lace dress. I draw the flowers, they are on the dress with soft outlines and checking the reference photo, I'm following all steps. As you can see, I'm going with mechanical pencil to build the petals of the flower, you know where to go with the pencil. So first of all, draw the outline when you draw a portrait. Just follow my steps and see and learn how to draw. We learn how to draw lace dress and very sophisticated materials. I have some leaves here to draw to respect the design of the dress. And using mechanical pencil, shade very light, very soft, easy coloring and feel the petals and the leaves. But as I told you, very soft because we learn to draw lace dress, transparency dress. And we need to learn to put the effects and also highlights on the dress. I'm coming now with blending stomp to blend very soft everything I shade to soften the petals and also the leaves. I'm using the same technique, very soft blending, till I'm happy with the color inside of the flowers and the leaves. I'm using small circles so I can color in the paper very easy. Now I'm coming again with mechanical pencil, adding the shadows and necessary details. If you want to keep refill from mechanical pencil sharp, try to learn my way. Just rotate a little bit pencil in your palm as I do and you will see refill will stay sharp longer than you need. I'm coming back for outlining again. To see the design and shape from the flowers and the leaves, following the reference photo. As you can see, now it's more easy to outline me, and our detail is coming with each step realistic and more visible. Now I'm outlining again the leaves, make them visible, and following the reference photo. I'm checking also for the shadows. The pen which leaf has a shadow. By the way, my mechanical pencil is Faber Custom, open 5 lid with 4B gray, but there's a lot of mechanical pencils. You can work with any mechanical pencil. Just learn how to work with and the dresses with better details. Now I need to shadowing all lips with shadows and I'm staying on mechanical pencil for this and you will see when I'm coming with blending stump to soften become realistic and the portrait changing with each detail we made interesting design but slowly slowly we can draw this now I'm using again blending stump and very soft I will blend from the dark to light as I told you in previous tutorials I'm always blend from the dark to light mixing the grades together Make sure you have clean blending stump and sharp. I'm going closer with the reference photo with each step I made. And now I'm coming with a design from outline and I'm using 8B grade to make the short wires who's coming out from the dress. And follow my steps how to draw this to make them realistic as in reference photo is. They are very soft and I choose 8B grey because I can start with darker and I'm going slowly as you're drawing eyelashes when you draw a portrait. Follow my steps to see how to use 8B grey for this part, drawing the details, important details for the dress, for making all picture. And now I need to come in into the flowers and leaves to make the design as I did in this side. Following the reference photo, I will make some lines, soft lines, into the leaves, but also very soft with a gray. You can draw this with mechanical pencil as well, if you like. And now taking the reference photo, I'm checking for the direction and crossover and I'm making the design. They're looking very soft. A bit in the shadow. Following the reference photo, we can go closer. 
Stay with me, follow all my steps, how I finish the dress. Now very soft, I'm going with blending stump over the wire, the short small wires. Just blend them a little bit. Stay with me and follow all my entire tutorial to learn to draw realistic. That's the tutorial guys for how to draw realistic lace dress. We work on Marilyn Monroe lace dress, realistic lace dress. And now you know how to draw realistic. You know a few of my techniques I'm using in realistic portraits. If you like my techniques, you can use in your artwork. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm coming with more tutorials. Also, we will draw dark black background full tutorial soon on YouTube channel. And for the final now, I'm coming just with a few shadows to respecting the reference photo. I'm using this dry brush for shadows and effects both coming from the skin to make the portrait realistic and beautiful. And as you can see, I'm respecting all possible details and I'm happy with this. We're working, as you know, we're working a few days of this portrait, but this is a tutorial for how to draw realistic. Let me show you in the tablet how the portrait is. So I'm respecting all details on the dress, as you can see, to be a realistic portrait. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and see you with the next tutorial. Bye-bye.